Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, we're joined by Dave Nyhart, Bob Weber, and Nate Walters, and they're with the Cold Water Unit for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Thank you, Cody. As Cody mentioned, my name is Dave Nyhart, and I am the agency's Cold Water Unit leader. Uh, what really started me in, a, uh, in the path towards a career in fisheries uh, started out when I was a young kid. Not, so, not necessarily so much in fishing, but just being in the outdoors in general. Oftentimes, we'd go camping and just enjoy hiking and whatnot, anything that we really could do to be in the outdoors. It wasn't until I was a teenager until I really got introduced to fishing. Um, so kind of through middle school and high school, I knew I wanted to do something in the environmental field, but wasn't exactly sure. At that point, back in 1998, I was blessed with the opportunity to gain an internship with the Fish and Boat Commission. And, and during that summer, it was a very eye-opening experience. And I really is what sent me in the direction I ended up going. Uh, we worked with a lot of great people. Many of those people still work for this agency that kind of mentored me through the process. So after my internship in 98, uh, I was in school at Penn State at the time. I worked as a seasonal for many years through the early 2000s. Finally got hired full time as a fisheries technician and kind of worked my way up through the ranks to the current position I'm in now. Thank you, Cody. I am Bob Weber. Um, give you some background on myself and my career path. Uh, I began, be, became interested in this career at a very, very young age, um, probably about eight, nine, or ten years old. Um, I had an uncle who actually took me and my brothers out fishing. Uh, I don't really know if I'd be where I am now without that. I find that to be pretty important. Um, along my path, I had several mentors. I had mentors that would uh, take me fishing, and I had others that would actually teach me things. So. I found that that mentor process was pretty important. Um, when I turned about 12 years old, 11 or 12, I was reading a copy of Pennsylvania Angler and I opened up an article where they were actually surveying trout streams. And at that time, I knew what I was gonna do the rest of my life. I was completely focused on that. And uh, after that point, I kind of worked to get, to get to that situation. I found that they had a program up at Mansfield University specifically dealing with fisheries and that's where I was going to go to college. Um, once I got accepted there, to be honest, high school was kind of in my way. I wanted to get into college and begin my career right away. Um, in 1986, my second year in college, I got a job, a summer job with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission down in the Bucks County office, southeastern Pennsylvania, where I had my very first experience working with fisheries of Pennsylvania. It's a pretty good experience down there. You got to, you got to sample a lot of lakes, um, the Delaware River, the Delaware River estuary, um, and occasionally a trout stream or two. Uh, a couple years later, I transferred back up here to the North Central where I was born and raised, um, worked with the area manager who was responsible for the West Branch drainage, uh, sampled everything in that particular area for several years and then I eventually transferred over to the Cold Water Unit in 1991 um, where I became pretty much exclusively responsible for trout programs statewide. Um, in 2010 the agency began the unassessed waters program and I was I was honored to become um, in charge of that program and I've been in charge of that program ever since. So that's my path 33 years worth it's been a wonderful ride. Thanks, Cody. Like Cody mentioned, I'm Nate Walters. Um, currently a fisheries biologist with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. So I'd say my path started back when I was real young, about five years old, and my pap took me fishing for the first time, and I was able to go out and catch two trout, and I was very excited during that time. And from there, as I grew, grew older, I began fishing a small mountain stream that was in my backyard and I'd spend hours over there just trying to catch a few small native brook trout. And as I kept getting older, I knew I enjoyed being outdoors in general, whether it was fishing, hunting, hiking. And so I wanted to try to pursue a career in, in the outdoor field. And I wasn't exactly sure you know, what I'd fall into or what kind of job I'd be able to, to find out there, but I'd like to encourage anybody that's considering that to get out there and see the variety of jobs that are offered out there in the, in the nature and in the wildlife field. Um, it's surprising, at least it was to me, uh, being younger, you know, you're not really sure what's all out there and what you can fall into. 
Uh, but I fell into an internship one summer working with the Fish and Boat Commission. And from there, I got hired on full-time working with the hatcheries. And so I raised trout and stocked them in streams. And now I'm back to working with fisheries management and I love it. So I encourage you, if anybody that's considering it or has a passion for the outdoors, get out there and see what's all out there for you, you know, and opportunities. Thank you very much, Nate. Yep, thanks.